Hello guys, so very exciting. Uh, ChatGPT released this new model for their API, which is GPT-40 Mini. Uh, it's most uh, cost efficient. However, it is, you know, more intelligent that, than their current uh, GPT-3.5 uh, model. So here, as you can see right here, exciting news. We introduced GPT-40 and this one, uh, look at the intelligence. GPT-40 outperforms 3.5 Turbo, okay? So 82% uh, compared to 69% and the price, uh, it, this is pretty surprising because, you know, the fact that it's more powerful than the 3.5, it's 60% cheaper than 3.5. So that means you can save, uh, you know, money and at the same time your articles will be you know the quality of your article will be better compared to just generating using 3.5 and really cost effective all right and for those of you who now have access to this one article ai generator using your own api we have it available right there so you can just simply select the gpt40 mini with this which is just now got released and for those who are using the uh you know the article ai generator uh credits version we now set the default writer uh, just for one credit using GPT-40 Mini. So every time you generate articles here, it will uh, select GPT-40 Mini as the default. So we completely remove the 3.5 everywhere here in Article AI Generator credits version. And uh, But here in Own API still there if you want to keep using it. But you know, th this is the available uh, new model GPT-40 Mini, which you can simply select and set that as your default writer, you know, here in Article AI generator on API. And in this, you know, in this uh, video, I'm also going to show you a strategy how you can easily uh, add inter, uh, internal links in your uh, articles, so, you know, linking to other blog posts within your WordPress website. So here, uh, if you see right here, we have this uh, herbstrove.com, which have, uh, which has 111 articles. So if we want to automatically create internal links to each of these articles right here. So first of all, I wanted to add new articles. So here in um, Keywords Everywhere, I got the prompt here to discover new keywords for my uh, niche, which is, which is herb Herbology. So it's quite a unique niche. And I just need to copy this prompt here. Uh, I'll just put the C keyword right here and go to ChatGPT and I'll paste the prompt right here and it will provide me uh, in a nice table format the articles strategy, uh, keyword strategy that I can use to write articles. So look at those uh, titles right here. So I just need to simply copy this table and then paste this to a blank sheet so I can grab this title right here. So also we can test whether we can produce better articles using GPT-40 Mini. So I'm going to add new articles right here. Maybe I'll just uh, add seven articles, this one right here. So I'll copy them and I can either use if you have access, you can either use this own API using GPT-40 as the default model, so set that, or I can head over to Article AI Generator and then uh, paste that right there in the bug articles generator. And here you look at this GPT-40 mini, so we can now test whether it will produce better quality articles and you can uh, generate the image right away. Since my blog is existing on Google, I can auto post that, but I will set to draft. And then, you know, daily I will publish two to three articles all right, so I want to be marked as spammy website. And then here we will select our site, which is herbstrove.com and let's generate them now. And look at this, our new articles have been successfully generated and they should be now in our WordPress dashboard. So come here and uh, refresh the post. As you can see, those are the new drafts article that we have just created. So uh, let's take a look at one of the article right here, this top herbal teas for health and relaxation. So look at that. This is the automatically produced featured image. And this is the article written by GPT-40 Mini. Okay, just for a single credit, you will produce this high quality article right there. Look at that. We have the table right here, which, you know, simply uh, display data. So it's very convenient for your reader to view the data that they need. Look at that. It's in table format. And we have this uh, different format that, you know, Google will be attracted to rank this article because, uh, you know, it's high quality. It's not just a, uh, you know, trashy or spammy uh, AI generated content. It's, you know, being produced uh, using a uh, SEO friendly structure, but that's we have the num uh, right number of words and at that we have again another table. So let's take a look at another uh, article right here, Herbal Things Through Potential Natural Remedies. So here we click that and this is the featured image and again a nice quality article that's being produced. We have the table format again, we have the number bullet right there and everything. So here as you can see, it's got this in indented, you know, sub, uh, sub information for this topic right here and at that yeah, everything it has everything that you need for an a high quality article right there and 
Now I'm going to show you how you can um, do uh, automatic e uh, internal links in your WordPress. So let's just publish uh, these two articles, okay? So edit and then apply. I'm going to publish this. I won't be publishing everything because I want uh, I don't want Google to mark my uh, website as spammy. So let's just update, the, uh, publish the first two articles right there, and of course include that in a category. So let's put that uh, those two anti-aging for now. And this is what you're going to do uh, in order for you to add, you know, interlink automatically in each of your articles. So here we need to install a plugin. So click this add new plugin right here and type inline related post. So here right, you can see right here. So this first result that appears, you see we've got 100,000 installation. That means you can trust this uh, plugin. So just install that and activate the plugin. So now here, just click on continue using the free version and take this to make it active. And here you can set this as uh, your default view. So this is what's going to appear in each of your articles. So you can change the color, the font color, the border color, everything you can configure. For now, I leave it as it is. And yeah, you can configure all the settings here. And this one, search similar posts. So if your articles are categorized, you can uh, choose using only categories. So the interlinking will happen within the categories. Otherwise, you can choose this first uh, you know, each first option, that's fine. And make sure it is do follow, okay? And yeah, uh, if you want to open that in a new window, so I think that's all the configuration we require and you just need to save that. Now let's go to one of the articles. Let's uh, see the one that's, you know, newly generated. Let's view this one and let's, let's scroll down. As you can see, uh, you got this first link right here, which is, you know, interlinking to another articles within this category. So that's how you automatically auto um, create auto internal links in your articles for free. Okay. Using this free plugin. So you scroll down, there's more. So this is another article going to, um, you know, another blog post and you scroll down. There is another article right there. And if you click that, it opens to a new window. And again, these old articles that's been linked, they will also have the internal linking like that. What Chinese herb stops um, aging, things like that. Okay, so I think that's about it, guys. So if you want to do this approach, so yeah, just install that inline related post and you will be able to configure your internal linking pretty easy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if it's helpful for you, uh, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.